So I'm walking along this beautiful beach in Thailand. And these fishies in these ponds right there have just taught me this incredibly poignant life lesson that applies to business and how much success you have, but also just applies to life and in general, how easy it is for you to achieve your goals. Because basically what happens in these ponds is that the tide over there will go down. Even these random bits of water, this one's a big one, but there's also small ones all around. And in these pieces of water, there are fish, tiny little fish. And I was looking at these fish and I was thinking, you have made a huge decision when you've decided what pond to be in for the day when the tide is down. If a fish chooses a great pond that has loads and loads and loads of food for him, he's going to be loving life. He's going to be chilling. He doesn't have to work hard at all. Whereas if a poor little fish chooses a pond to stay in when the tide is down that has no food in him at all, then no matter how hard that fish works, he's going to die. And it got me thinking. As humans, we walk around and we operate never in a vacuum, but always in an external environment. The obvious thing is that you can't change the weather. You can't control whether it rains. And some more abstract examples is that if you're a businessman, you can't control the wants and needs of your target market. If you're a YouTuber, you can't control the algorithms that you operate in. So no matter what you do, there's this environment. And as humans, we're little maggots. We have no control over our environment. This is what the Stoicism teaches us, the dichotomy of control, to always be on the lookout for the separation between what you can control and what you can't control. And if you can't control something, you should pay it no effort. It's wasted energy, wasted emotions, no point focusing on it, no point dwelling on it, no point being a victim about it. Instead, focus all of your energy on what you can control. And if we can't control our environment, the thing that these fishies just reminded me of is that the most important decision you ever make in your life is that where in the environment do you place yourself? Do you place yourself in a tiny little pond with no fish where you're going to be struggling and you could still die? Or do you decide to place yourself in a beautiful pond that has loads of food so you hardly have to try and you still get what you want? Alex Hormozzi has this quote that I think he learned from Charlie Munger that said, the boat you are in is more important than how hard you row. But actually, what's more important than the boat you're in is what body of water are you in? If you're in a tiny little pond and you have the best boat in the world, you're not gonna be going very quickly. Whereas if you're in a river that's flowing in the direction you wanna go in, you can be on a little raft that you just crafted from some, some wood that you found behind you, and you can have a boat that goes pretty quickly. So what market you're in, what environment you're in, these are the sorts of decisions that matter so much. You can be a really bad business owner in a great booming market. You'll succeed incredibly well. If you're a burger stand and you don't have the best burgers, but you place yourself on a place where the starving people, people that are super hungry, you will sell out all of your burgers almost guaranteed. Whereas you can have incredible burgers, but go to a place where people aren't hungry and there is better, cheaper options around you, you're not going to be able to do that. If you're a content creator, do you create on YouTube? Do you create on TikTok? All of these sorts of things are the highest leverage decisions. Perhaps even more important than what you do is where you are, both in life and in general, and the market and all of that sort of stuff that you operate in. So thanks little fishies for teaching me that lesson. Hope you enjoyed.